one inch plate. Alright, so we got another plasma cutter by R Captain. This is the R Captain Cut 55 LED. It is a 55 amp braided machine. And some other features on here are non touch or pilot arc uh, torch. It has two T4 T options on here, ready to cut half inch uh, clean cuts on mild steel. It's an inverter based plasma cutter, compact in size. Um, other than that, it has 4T, 2T option on there. There's a little bit of damage to the box during shipping, but I think the plasma cutter will be fine. We're gonna do a quick unboxing, and then we're gonna do some test cuts on miscellaneous three quarter rusted material that came from under the ocean. We got some one inch plate here. This is heavy. And then we got some half inch mild steel which this machine is rated for. It's very rusty material, so we're gonna put it to the test and see what the R Captain 55 LED can do. So let's do a quick unboxing and get to the cuts. We got a little jigsaw blade. So I'm just gonna pull all this out here. So here are the accessories that come with a Cut 55 LED. You got the 110 and 220 volt adapter. You got some supply hose. You got some hose clamps. You got your regulator, shoulder strap, some cool stickers, your R Captain manual, warranty card. You got some consumables, a wrench, the R Captain AG60 hand torch, and your earth ground. And we got the Cut 55 LED plasma cutter. The regulator already has a bracket on there, so it should be quick. Here. All right, so here's my inlet. And this is my connection that's gonna tie into my airline or my compressor. And we got our air supply. We got the pilot arc and we got the switch. ground all right so we're going to do our initial power up and we're going to go with 240 volts as her voltage of choice so now we're going to hit the power button on the back so here's our amperage up to 55 mode gives us 2t or 4t and we're on 220 volts very simple you got a guide on here for your air pressure 30 to 70 psi for up to three quarter inch on 220 volts and on 120 30 to 50 psi and we're going to run about 70 psi for most of our tests here and we got the cut 55 LED at 50 amps and 2t mode That looks pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna set it up to max, which is 55. And we got some very rusted material here. Now my speed was not quite um, consistent, but look at that cut. That is very nice. Half inch, rusted, 
part of the Titanic. Three quarter inch plate here. Black in this little piece here. That is three quarters air. So we got the R Captain Cut 55 LED ready to attempt one inch mild steel now this is going to be beyond the capacity of this machine we're still going to attempt it i want to see what the cut 55 LED is all about one inch plate That looks very nice. As you can see, there's a lot of dross around the bottom, a lot of slag. This is beyond the capacity of a 55 amp machine. Did an excellent job. So here is a quarter for reference. That'll show you how thick this is. So if you're gonna be doing some sheet metal, this machine has enough power to probably go through the whole truck. So we got 34 amps, 10 gauge aluminum. Well. There you go. 19 cut. So I got some sheet metal here and once I hit the trigger and release the arc is going to be established and we're just going to keep going in the line. Once we're done we're going to hit the trigger release and that should uh, disable the arc. I'm not gonna use a grinder. I want you to get the, the full picture of this cut. Couldn't find my chipping hammer, this will do. All right, so we got the cut 55, and we got a lot of one inch, three quarter, half inch cuts there. There's a quarter. And the machine did excellent in all my tests. The aluminum, the 4T on 14 gauge. All right, so we got the R-Captain Cut 55 LED and a big chunk of one inch mild steel here on top. Now we're gonna talk about the plasma cutter here, what I like and dislike, and the operation of this machine is very easy. You got an on and off. One button here on the front for 2T and 4T operation. You got one knob for your amperage, lower, higher. And you got a large display readout here, very bright as well. You got this guide here for your PSI. You got a non-touch or pilot arc plasma cutter. 
or plasma torch the ag60 torch the consumables are very affordable easy to find and besides that the machine is very lightweight compact easy to maneuver around has a nice color to it it's dual voltage and it has a lot of cutting potential one inch there now it has all the accessories needed for the regulator here now some of the things i dislike about it which could be a plus at times is this barb connection here i couldn't take it off and i wanted to put one of my fittings directly on my regulator and i think they probably applied too much thread sealant on there loctite and um, i had to go this route and the other thing i do feel the reach i think it's about 10 feet the reach of the plasma torch is on the lower end well probably like a medium end because some of these uh, machines might have a, like an eight foot reach i think this one's 10 feet you know the longer the better i say anyways um hopefully you enjoyed the video and any questions let me know post them below i'll get to them as soon as possible and check out my other videos for the r captain mig 200 the cut 50 the arc 165 and other r captain machines so thank you for watching see you on the next one bye bye